Hi guys, welcome to the channel, Titan here. Today we are looking at Star Citizen. I've been looking at this game for a while now and we finally had a free week, so let's finally open those hangar bay doors and fly into this review. Now before we get into the review, I had no prior knowledge of any of the mechanics in this game. I didn't look up anything, I wanted to go in blind to try and get the best first user experience possible. And I can honestly say it was not fun. But we'll get to that as we get to the other sections of the review. Regarding the story though, there doesn't appear to be one just yet. In multiplayer as it as it stands now you kind of make your own story as you play through the game as you're doing missions as you're d helping people out you are you are quite literally playing your story because not everyone's going to be playing the missions in the same order that you are things aren't going to go the exact same way that they go for someone else that they'll go for you and that's not necessarily a bad thing now we get to the controls and quite honestly i don't know where to start with this one the controls were an absolute nightmare to try and learn i would constantly have to keep going back to the key binds to see what i need to press to do something or to activate something i spent about 40 percent of the time i played just looking at the key binds trying to figure that shit out I would run into enemy NPC ships out in space and would start turning to fight them but for some reason my weapons wouldn't fire. Checking the key binds and made sure that they were on, which they were. Then I had to stare at the key binds again to see if there was anything that might have been pressed that would stop them from working. They just would not shoot at all. And I can't understand it. I, I was out of the neutral zone which i mean it's not the neutral zone but i mean it's the it's it's the area with uh, the limit within the city where you cannot use your weapons they are automatically disabled i was outside of that zone it, it i just couldn't understand why my weapons wouldn't work All the while I'm being shot at and slowly having my life flash in front of my eyes as I'm slowly being destroyed all because some unknown reason my weapons just would not fire. The controls are seriously a hot mess. I sent screenshots to my friend and his reply was quite literally, fuck that. The graphics are good if you have the PC to run the game at high or ultra settings. At low settings, the textures still look pretty good up close, but textures rendered further away look okay-ish. The ships are very well designed, and credit where credit is due, but that alone will not save the game for me. The visual effects are also done very well, and the game, the game scenery is truly stunning to look at. My machine will never run this game in a setting higher than low, even though the only recommended system component that failed was my CPU. There is some voice acting in the game, with the announcement inside the building or when a transport arrives at a location for you to get on or get off. Mostly, in my experience, it's text-based. When you accept a mission, you read the text, you go do the mission, and that's about it. The sounds in the game do sound amazing though. And it feels pretty immersive, especially when you're flying your ship around. The music is okay-ish. It's a little bit too ambience based for me. I would have preferred something a little bit more upbeat, especially during combat. But it's okay. It's... It's, it's definitely not my cup of tea, but 
then again, other people will have no issue with this. The gameplay was rough. Since gameplay is directly tied to the controls, it tends to lack a lot in terms of enjoyability. Having to look at the controls every few seconds because you can't figure out what you need to press to do something or figure out what you're trying to do. Detracts from the gameplay experience quite heavily and RSI has definitely dropped the ball and missed the mark here. And on top of it all, there's no meaningful tutorial telling you how to get from point A to point B. The only maps I seem to find were the ones available in specific locations within cities. And it doesn't do a good job telling you where you are or how to get where you want to be. There's also no mention on how to open the hangar doors, so you can take your ship out. After nearly an hour of trying buttons and looking at the awful key binds, I eventually googled it. It all detracts from the experience and enjoyment of a game that I went into blind so I could make a review based on my experiences with the game without knowing anything about it beforehand. I get they wanted to do an expansive universe or solar system, but I feel like they are trying to capitalize on the vastness that Eve introduced. When I play games I want to get in, play and have fun. I don't want to be sitting in my chair with nothing to do for 20 odd minutes because my ship is jumping to the next location. And the location is so far away that I stare at my screen instead of actually playing the game. The spaceships I love and the cities I mostly like as well but I feel they also serve as distractions to try and keep you playing for more. While I had fun when I finally managed to fly my ship out of the hangar and I managed to figure a few things out, the process of getting to that point wasn't fun for me at all. I don't enjoy looking at keybinds every few seconds to see what button does what, where and how. You know, I'd, I'd like to at least have a short tutorial that runs you through the basics and lets you get familiarized with the inner workings of the game instead of having me get frustrated and googling the shit that the game should be explaining to me. I don't think there's too much replayability in this title, but I may be wrong about it. None of the missions I did ever came up for me a second time while I was playing, so honestly I couldn't say with any certainty. But given the type of game that it is, you most likely wouldn't have to repeat missions anyway. You need to purchase a starter pack to be able to play Star Citizen. I would say the value for money would be fair if you're buying the pack and then playing the game to make currency and buying additional ships with that. But in my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. On top of that, you need a ridiculously powerful machine just to run the game at a decent enough setting. I really wanted to love this game. I gave it a chance and I was left speechless at the shit show laid bare on my screen. Horrendous controls, system requirements that I feel would limit the game to a small group of players while excluding a large portion of potential players who can't afford to buy massive rigs. And while the game looks pretty on the surface, when you start poking around and actually dive into it, it's a whole new ball game. As this game has been in early access for the last 10 years, I doubt it will ever leave early access. I think a lot still needs to be done before this game is ready for a full release. And that could take many, many more years. I could not, in good conscience, recommend this game to anyone. That is a risk you'll have to take on your own. I play these games and I go in with little to no knowledge of them. So that I can give you my first hand experience playing these games so that I can give you as much of an informed decision or as much information as I can for you to make an informed decision on these games because at the end of the day you are buying these you are playing them you need to enjoy them and if you're not I'm not doing my good well I'm not doing my job as a reviewer very well then and quite honestly, 
this game just doesn't do it for me. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. And for anyone who loves this game, who thinks I'm just hating on it, that's not my intention. My intention is for someone who does want to get into it, who does want to build up a rig capable of playing this game properly, to make an informed decision. You might like the game as it is. I don't. I don't like having to research how to open hangar bay doors, or how to get the landing gear up, or how to make my weapons actually fucking work. But if you like that, all the more power to you. Just isn't a game for me. And I'll see you in the next video.